hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is nandipa welcome welcome and welcome please make sure you subscribe hit that like button and make sure you do um get some comments in okay so it is to those that have been here that are regular regulars. i love you and i truly appreciate you and it is many days later i think it's over a week later it's wednesday i arrived on tuesday i think but anyway it's almost a week if it's not a week later since i started my self-care routine so let's get you updated i've only done one of the things i've done my scan you've already seen that so i did my full body scan on that and then the monday i was meant to go for my ozone oxygen therapy I didn't. Today is Wednesday. I still have not gone. Life happened in between. A lot has happened in between. Not so good, but okay. We move, but I'm, I'm definitely going on Friday. I need to go on Friday. My voice, my throat has been going through it, guys. I don't know this flu with the throat that's going around. I'm, I'm next. Like, I have it. My throat is killing me. Um, yeah, I have it. My throat is killing me. I am taking cayenne pepper and honey. I just mix hot water and then I'm, I've been drinking that. And I have to say, instantly, it's much better. Literally much better. And now I have some... Sorry, my, my daughter's on the phone. Um, I have some... antibiotics that were left over from my tooth incident i don't know which video is going to come first if i had the tooth your tooth thing done in mexico it went left anyway so i got some amoxicillin and it's mainly like a broad spectrum antibiotic so i can still take it because i'm i'm feeling a little bit under the weather so that's gonna help luckily there's still loads in here yo i went through a lot of these but anyway <laughs> Much better. The lighting is much better. Guys, we tend to Like, we tend to Like, I look at other people and, and I so admire their dark skin. Guys, I used to be dark, 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 dark. Like, I used to be dark. Like, they used to even call me Uma Blake. Like, I, my skin was so gorgeously dark. I have no idea what happened. I have not used any lightning creams. Nada. Like, my just skin just keeps getting dark. It's just the climate and the areas that I've been to. It's literally made my skin lighter and lighter every single time, honestly. Anyway, <coughs> my daughter's with dark skin, and I'm like, oh, I wish she stays that way. It's such a beautiful, even toned dark skin. Okay, then the Your and Bochelanga means I'm knowing the sun. Yeah. Okay, so an update on my self-care. I am taking the stuff that I was supposed to be taking. I got a lot of stuff. I bought like over a thousand rand worth of stuff that I'm supposed to be taking. So I am taking those. That's a good thing. And then um, today's Wednesday. We're not doing anything. I'm actually just going grocery shopping. But okay, that's another vlog. Um, on Thursday, Thursday I'm going for my tooth because I had a root canal done on this tooth many, many, many years ago, but it's acting up. Don't know if I said that. It's acting up, it's get, becoming painful, and I'm reading more about it. They said, you know, it doesn't always last a long time. Sometimes you know, it does get infected again, so you have to go. So I have to go again. Then I budget along. But it needs to be done. So on Thursday, which is tomorrow, um, I'm going for that in the afternoon. And then Friday, I am going for my ozone therapy in the morning. And then in the afternoon, I'm going for my ozone.
guys okay so i just arrived at my dentist appointment with one minute to spare let's go and get this tooth extracted wish me luck Not bad at all. Just had my tooth extracted. I will update you after an hour. I took out the gauze. Um, I'm still very much swollen and numb as heck. So I'm still sp speaking funny. And I'm attempting to eat the leftover pizza. My daughter's leftover pizza. Because I'm stomach. It's been like an hour and 45 minutes. Mm. Okay, so. The lighting is gone. An update on today's event. I'm still numb and I'm still swollen. So, an update. This morning, I had an appointment for my... I don't even know if I have spit. I, have an, I had an appointment for pap smear. I was actually nervous because I've never done a pap smear before. So I thought they asked a couple of questions and she told me. You know, I went on to YouTube this morning, I think, or last night, just to watch some videos and people have been in the comments. Oh my God, people are like, it was horrible, it was painful, it was the worst thing I've ever done, blah, 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 blah. And you just had a few comments of people of, with good experiences. They're like, no, it wasn't painful, maybe uncomfortable. Like, it, it kind of like scared me, but it didn't scare me to not doing it because it needed to be done it was it was due it was due like i had already made up my mind that i was going to have the pep smear done i need to have a pep smear done and also some information which i think i got it wrong when i said you have to do pep smear when, after after you turn 40 or something after you get no that was my bad um as she said from the age of 16 you can have pep smear done if you're sexually active from the age of 16 but yes you can do it as young as 16. and she was saying she's seen so many changes in young women between the age of 18 to 24 a changes in cancers in in their cells and and it's kind of scary she's like it's kind of scary it's like growing a lot of young women are getting um having signs of like cervical cancers and all of that it's kind of like scary and then she started talking about um the hpv vaccine yes we know vaccine is a very sensitive word these days um hpv vaccine obviously it's a, she says it's three you have to have it it's three injections we have to have it over a period of six months i think so like over a thousand each but they do it, they used to do it for free in schools and it really helps to prevent um, cervical cancers and type of cancers, especially in women. So they do it in schools because 16 year olds like, well, actually you, um, HPV, you can have younger um, people go for it, which really helps to prevent those different types of cancers in women, especially. Um, and then, so I went in, I was a little bit nervous. Yeah, she was fine, she was talking, and then got on my gown, and then I obviously removed everything from the bottom, and then I laid on the bed. 
and then she was like oh relax i was like is this gonna be painful she's like no 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 it's 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 not a painful experience it's 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 nothing like you, you won't feel much it's it's not painful it's not uncomfortable or anything well it might be uncomfortable but it's not painful okay, so i learned the bed and she prepared you know what people were making like oh my gosh make sure you get a smaller one or not the bigger uh, and anyway i was like okay whatever whatever um so i laid on the bed and um applied the, the loop i could feel the, like the lubrication and then it was in and then she was like okay took a deep breath in and then the finger went in and then she was like okay this might feel you might feel pressure not pain just a little bit of pressure but now she's like i'm trying to get into the cells to to, to get some cells to remove some cells i felt that kind of like a, it was kind of like a weird um pressure kind of thing it wasn't uncomfortable at all actually and she was done it literally the entire thing just typical typical when you are late everything just seems to go haywire and now i'm gonna drive it like Typical. Typical. Terrible. I'm a man that's of one. Eight one three, Ivan. Eight one three. Hello. Sir. Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so late. Oh no. It was going the wrong direction. Oh, no, Uncle Siam. Oh, he's turning. Okay, he's coming. Late, late, late. Four o'clock. Wait a minute, it's late. Just arrived. You can also move. Hello, I'm going to go to the ground floor. Bay. Bay radiology. The hell? Emergency. That's interesting. Is that? Ah, No, it's a Okay, it's a I'm lost, girl. I am truly lost. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Son of the way, nobody knows. Hey, a whole nurse does not know where this is. Hi. Hello. Okay. Yes, I have an appointment for a mammogram. Okay, sure. What is your surname? Vanti. Okay. Have you been asked before? No. Anybody in the film making the doctor or anything? Okay. Not. Okay. Your signature in today's 
pit here and just take your top and bra off. Okay. There we go. Take this with you. Go into number one. Top and bra off. So we just jump in there. You can okay. sit over here. So yeah, and then yeah. just take a bra yeah. and top off. Okay. Coordinating. Coordination and time. Now we have to pay. Someone just ran out of a view. Sorry for the ankle. Sorry for the ankle. Yes, we're paying with a card. One five three seven. One five three seven. Thank you. Just for the mammogram. Yes, just for the mammogram. This is where we were at. Let me tell you something. You'll get lost because nobody knows. This way. Yeah. Yep, I remember the stairs. And then you turn left. Remember the reception. Okay, I need to brush my hair. Welcome back to my channel. And now I have to call my doctor to find out about the results of the mammogram. They said at three o'clock and it's 10 after three. I just called her and she was busy. Um, she was busy at three o'clock, so I'm gonna try and call her again and see what she says. She talks forever, that's the thing. That's the only thing with her. I wonder if I should just go to, go to her. Hmm. I'm just thinking of just going to, you know. Um, yeah. Let me get my hair done and then just go to her. Let's try again. Sorry? We are Benin. Benin is all. Benin is the phone. What are you doing? It's in Benin phone. Nandi, Papa. Eh, it's this. The memogram. It's a memogram. Okay, I'm going to take two minutes for a memogram. Be a written check. I'm going to take two minutes. I'm going to take two minutes. Okay. Okay, sis. My thank you. Yes. When did you do your mammogram? Yesterday. It's yesterday. Yes. Who referred you? 
No, I it was a routine check. Sorry? I nobody referred me. I went in there to as a checkup, as a routine check. But you can't go without the referral How do they help you? They help me. Is it? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put you is it not deeper? Yes it is. Your cell number is oh seven six four eight three two seven five three. It's O six O. System. And uh, yeah, I think your IT guys have gone home. I can't log in. Okay. Okay. They say they ask, but they benign. Okay. They are not cancerous. But when you examine your breast, do you find any lumps? Um, not really. It's just like little bit bumps. I think okay. that's why I would, yeah. Bumps are they during, pregnant, uh, during your periods or do they come after that? Um, I've noticed during my period, but also just after the period sometimes. Okay. Also. Why don't you examine your heart and chest or not really? Not really because I just had it done yesterday. You're sure? So, yeah, Everything okay. So. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think, let's put it this way. If the cysts don't become bigger mm -hmm. and don't become painful, it's not a problem. Okay. But I don't know when you're coming back to see. Okay, it's like literally being in the steam, like sweating. So we've increased the temperature to like 45. So it's, it gets like it's, it's in stages, it gets like really, 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 really hot for like a couple of minutes, and then it cools down a little bit, and then it goes hot again. So I'm, I'm literally like sweating underneath, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like I'm in a steam, proper steam, so you can see the steam is coming out just a little bit over here if you can see it, but I'm detoxifying because I'm going to get my junk out, I'm getting some ozone, which is very good for improving the immune system and stuff, so I think the it's gonna help with the cold that I have which is great because it's like ozone therapy which helps to improve the oxygen level so yeah so far so good I've got like 14 just under 15 minutes left cool. if you can see my face do I bring it closer do I bring it closer I'm actually sweating. Close up it. But I started sweating like only when there's seven minutes left. Like my face is very stubborn. I don't sweat very easily. But it's almost done. I'm feeling tired. Now, what she says after this treatment, you have to go straight to sleep. You can't be going around everywhere, everywhere. Get in the car and go in the room. So you just continue with the warmth and stuff. I completely understand because it's very easy to get sick afterwards. If you're out in the cold and especially today it's quite windy but yeah i'm left with 40 seconds and it's been good i'm not gonna lie it's been very hot i increased the temperature like i said but now it's gone back to um 40 degrees celsius good 
plus 30 seconds later come down wow see that's 40 and that's the temperature come down there and we are done I survived yours on earth my first one my first of many I'm back home. Oh, wait. Hey, y'all. Hey, guys. Sure, I look crusty. I'm back home. Just came back from the ozone treatment. And it's literally like an intense steam with ozone in it. So afterwards, as you saw the chart off, you know, like, colors that you may have and what it entails so afterwards i had like the black color which indicates like gut so i had toxins in my gut area surplus surplus so that's what i had so that's why they have the white towel she said that they keep the white towel there so that they're able to see what you secrete what you've secreted so for me it's the gut which is um, i'm actually glad that i did not take because i bought the cleanse the bigger okay so sorry <laughs> Ellen son I bought the colon flush so that's what I'm going to use I'm going to I haven't actually used it I haven't actually used it my daughter says wow well, um one to two times daily. I guess I know. I'm gonna start using it. I think I'm gonna start using it tomorrow. I'm gonna to start using it. So uh, I can cleanse up my system since I've started with the um, ozone. I'm gonna make myself a green smoothie because- We're undetermined, um, what they call undetermined or they're not sure cells, which were looked just a little atypical to them. Um, so there are two ways, are you still there? Yes, I am. Uh, so there are two ways to proceed. They've still got the specimen. They keep it for about six weeks. Okay. So we can either do an add-on test to the specimen they already have to actually look specifically for HPV and to see which HPV strains are present, which is an additional 400 rand. Or we could wait and do a, another pap smear in six to 12 months. So it depends on your pocket, it depends on what you'd like to do. So they've recommended that we can wait and do another pap smear if you want to, but they've got the specimen still, so we can do an add-on. So what does the add-on entail? They're looking specifically for HPV, the human papillovirus. Okay. Um, and the human papillovirus is 70% of the cause of, of cervical cancer. Okay. So they want to just determine whether those cells are changing and that is the result of the presence of HPV. Okay. Um, and up to you to watch how you'd like to proceed. They haven't picked up anything specific, just that they are, they're not sure about certain cells. So this we get from time to time. Okay. And then, um, no, I think, no, I think I'll let them do you know, the add-on, yeah. Okay. When can you come to me to do the payment before I can let the lab know to go ahead? I can do it today. Okay. So I'm here until five. Okay. Um, so that's fine. So what you need to do is just come to the clinic. I'll put a separate invoice on um, okay. a tie for you. And then once you've paid it, if you can just bring the, the cash slip back with the form to me and then I'll send it on to the lab. Okay. Okay. All right. Then I'll, I'll, I'll see you later in the depot. All right. Thank I don't, you. I don't, want, I don't want you to stress. Yeah. I don't want you to stress. But let's just have a look and see what's going on. Okay. Okay. 
All right. Thank you. Bye.